as the recent trailer and gameplay footage of the newest Dragon Age game, The Veil Guard, formerly known as The Dreadwolf, much better name in my humble opinion, it's great to see our beloved hero, Varric Tefras, still leading the charge in the battle for Fadus. It's been a while since we've seen him, ten years in fact, and his much older and much more mature look fits him very well. Personally, my favourite thing about him has to be his entrance into the second game's story. He takes down a thief in such a cocky and skillful way, I was always sure it was some kind of a setup. <laughs> Here's a reminder of that amazing scene. your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. How do you do? Beric Tethras, at your service. Oh-ho! Yeah. In case you need any other reasons, here's five more reasons why Varric is the best character in Dragon Age. Number five, his witty humor. Ever since his first appearance in Dragon Age 2, his amazing one-liners and his need for nicknames makes him such an enjoyable character to bring along on any quest. His same wit followed through into the Inquisition title to continue to tell such amazing stories and versions of events as he traveled with the Inquisitor. You're strong and handsome, and so very smart! What? Why lie now about this? Some of these nicknames are amazing, such as Sunshine, Daisy, Blondie, Ravaney, Junior, Curly, you remember these? And even Ruffles. <laughs> it's pretty cool that Hawk could have a, a few different names, Depending on how you chose to act throughout the game, it's one of those things with Dragon Age 2 that made it quite an interesting game. Number 4. He's actually an excellent rogue. Varric can be upgraded to learn how to use many specialisations, whether it be lockpicking or sneaking in the shadows for that perfect sneak shot. He's a little limited as he refuses to use any other weapons in the game, but does have extra perks due to the years of knowledge and expertise in firing his beloved crossbow, Bianca. I did like the fact that he could upgrade certain parts of his crossbow in Inquisition, and I'm kinda glad they gave him such a connection to a certain type of weapon. Number 3. His dress code. Varric has looked amazing in both the previous game titles he's been in. That signature long overcoat just beams cool. His weapon of choice, Bianca the crossbow, was kinda revolutionary to a game's character at the time. I mean, it certainly inspired Norman Reedus' character, Daryl, in the Walking Dead series? I mean, who doesn't want to look as cool as Varric? Number 2. The bravest dwarf in all of Fadus. For a surface-dwelling dwarf who was raised in Kirkwall his entire life, he was happy to follow his late brother, Bartran, into the terrifying deep roads, and he even return there on numerous occasions despite all of his dangers. He's always had his leaders back, no matter what the odds were, and his jokes really do help things in the middle of a scary expedition. The recent preview shows him coming face to face with the powerful mage Solus with little to no fear. He just tried to talk his friend off a ledge. What a legend. And finally, number one, his love for Bianca. Varric's weapon of choice in the first two games and now at the beginning of Veilguard is his trusty crossbow, Bianca. He tells many tales throughout the games about his beloved Bianca she was rumoured to have been a previous lost love. Sometimes he'd hummed a song that was supposed to be about her whilst he was in battle. And you can hear this in the actual games. The saddest part of the Veilguard vale trailer. So it's kind of a spoiler, so you haven't seen that trailer yet. Maybe just stick your fingers in your ears. Perfect. Bianca is, gets blasted out of Varric's hands and breaking into two down some stairs. That's such a sad moment. So if you enjoyed today's very quick video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Maybe go check out some of our older content. 
and we're going to try and endeavour to create more content going forward. We'll see you next time.